A few months ago, I updated my recommendations on my Amazon Affiliates page to include some more resources that I thought German learners could use. While I was doing that, Amazon kept suggesting that I buy more things, so I bought a few of the recommendations and decided to see whether or not they were worth you buying as well. The first of these purchases was this book, German for Everyone, Junior, Five Words a Day. This book is exactly what the title says. It shows you five words every single day, and it does that for an entire year. It doesn't, however, show you five words every single day of the entire year. The first four days of each week are presenting five new words each day. The fifth day is here to practice all of the things that you learned that week. This means you're actually learning 20 words per week for 52 weeks, which is just over a thousand words. One article I read said that beginners need to learn 250 to 500 words. Intermediate learners should learn anywhere from a thousand to three thousand words. This puts you right on the edge of that intermediate range. The book itself is really well made. The cover is almost like a plastic thing, and the pages are all woven together in the book very well. The pages themselves are also very sturdy, and thick. The images and the text are very sharp and well drawn, and it looks and feels amazing. Usually my biggest complaint about books like this is that the words that you learn aren't exactly what I would recommend for the first 1500 words. This book actually does a pretty good job of mixing variety of vocabulary with useful vocabulary. The first week, for example, includes numbers one through five, a few fruits, colors, and some school vocabulary. Week two includes numbers up to ten, more school vocabulary, some names for toys, and writing utensils. Since this is the junior version of the book, the vocabulary in this book is aimed at kids, so I personally think that the vocabulary they picked is practically perfect for the elementary age kids. These words that they chose are ones that the elementary age kids are going to be using on a daily basis in their everyday lives. This gives an excellent opportunity to work them into your daily routine. Oh, you learned the German word for playground today? Let's go out to the Spielplatz. You can slowly replace the English words in your conversation with German words as you learn them each week. The exercises at the end of each week are awesome too. They make you recall the spelling of each word, match the words to the image, and a bunch of other age-appropriate exercises. There's an answer key at the end of the book, but I think that the exercises are simple enough that you could just go back to the previous page and check your answers on your own. If you were teaching German at an elementary school, this book would be perfect. It teaches five words each day and the first four days of the week. Then the class can participate in the practice at the end of the week. You could even practice the vocabulary throughout the day as you integrate the vocabulary into daily conversations, like I said just a minute ago. So far, I still haven't gotten to the coolest part about this book. In the top right corner of the book, it says that it includes free online audio. You can either use the DK5 Words website or the app. I tried both. When you download the app, you have to tell it which language you're learning. Then you finish the website URL in the app. At first, I thought there must be different versions of this book since I had to type in US, but apparently this is not the case. I'm not sure what it is that this US is actually doing here. The app itself is very simple. You can choose the week that you're starting on, you can start from day one, or you can pick something from the quick reference at the back of the book for numbers, days, and months. Once you choose a week, it shows you the first day. Then you can read the words in German below each play button. When you tap the play button, a super chipper German native speaker reads the words to you. Eins. Zwei. You can tap on one word at a time, or play all to play all of the words one after another. Eins. Zwei. Drei. Vier. Fünf. I personally like the one at a time option because this allows you time to listen and repeat. You can also listen to the same one over and over again to get the right pronunciation. I do have a couple of complaints about the app. I would have liked to have seen the images of the vocabulary words next to the words itself. This would help make it easier to memorize the words. I understand that you could simply have your phone open on one side and your book open on the other side and look back and forth between the two, but I just like having everything in one place. The second complaint that I have about the app has to do with long German words. When you get to longer words in German, they start to kind of run together. Sometimes this makes it look like the word is twice as long as it really is, but other times it just causes the words to overlap a little bit, making it impossible to read. I'm sure this is just an oversight, and this only happens with the German version of the app, as only the German words have that many letters, but it still bugs me. Of course, you can also see the entire word by looking at the correct spelling in the book. While we're on the list of complaints, let's talk about some things that I don't like about this book. There are no sentences in the entire book. 
with the exception of one thing. On the table of contents page, there are six speech bubbles. That's it. Those are the only ones in the entire book. And they don't even translate them for you, so you have to figure out what they mean all on your own. It would be awesome to see how these words could be used in simple sentences and get more complex as you learn. The first week, for example, has numbers, some fruit, some colors, and some classroom vocabulary. You could write some simple sentences that say something like, Die Banane ist gelb, der Apfel ist rot, and so on. Of course, you could do this on your own, and if I were doing this with my own kids, that's exactly what I would do, but the fact that this isn't even a recommendation from this book is kind of irritating. Each four-week group in the table of contents has a certain color assigned to it. These colors don't mean anything. I don't know why they bothered making them different colors to begin with, and why they grouped them in fours. This surely should have some sort of purpose. If they just wanted to make it cute, they could have made every week a different color instead of groups of four. So, I have no idea why this is there. I know it's petty to complain about little things like this, but it's just enough OCD in me to hate this. There is no dictionary at the end of this book. There's a glossary of German terms and a glossary of English terms, but there's no dictionary. Most of the words are listed next to the week in which they were introduced. Days, months, and numbers, however, are listed next to the page number that goes with the quick reference guide that I mentioned before. These words also show up in the weeks, however, so why not just put the list of weeks that they are in and not bother with the page number of 216 or 217? The fact that you can't just look up a word and its translation in the back of the book is bothersome. You have to go to the glossary, find the week that it corresponds to, and then go find that week within the book just to find the definition. All I would want is a German to English and an English to German dictionary, so you can see both languages next to each other, no matter which way you look it up. It could also have which week it was under, so you can go back and review that way, but it should be a dictionary and not a glossary. As you can tell by most of my complaints about this book, they are pretty petty. Overall, this book is excellent. I would give it four and a half out of five bow ties on the Hair Antrim scale of awesomeness that I just invented. The audio files can really elevate the value of this purchase for me. The illustrations are fantastic, the choice of words is practically perfect, all in all, it's a great book. If you have younger kids that are learning German, this would be a great addition to their German learning. The company that makes this book also makes several other books, which are now on my list of books to buy and review. The first one that I plan on getting is 15 Minute German. This looks to be the closest thing to an adult version of the German for Everyone Junior book. It also has an audio option to go with it, just like this book does. It includes phrases and conversational German. It definitely looks like it's aimed at older learners, but I'll have to see what it looks like whenever I actually get a copy of it to be sure. If it's anything like this book, German for Everyone Junior, it is sure to be a great book. If you want to buy the books that I mentioned in this video or see other book recommendations from me for German learners, there's a link in the description for all of those things. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!